Hey, Chef Ro here. Today we're going to make Vietnamese summer rolls. Uh, now a lot of people know of spring rolls, but spring rolls are fried. Summer rolls you don't actually cook. Um, you leave them raw and you eat them and they're very bright and fresh, just like summertime. Uh, they're meant to be eaten cold, which is also something you would want to eat in summertime. Now sometimes you can put cooked things in them like shrimp or something like that, and, but everything that goes in already has to be cooked or can be eaten raw. So I'm going to show you first what our mise en place looks like or what our prep looks like. Uh, I'm going to show you all the ingredients that I have for my summer roll, but you can pick what you would like because you're the one eating it, not me. Here I have some butterhead lettuce, and I have some celery leaves, and some mint leaves, and some basil leaves, and something called sorrel, which is kind of lemony flavored, and I've got cilantro leaves, and I've got some carrots. Cucumbers are actually really good in these too. Any fresh vegetable, fresh herbs, really you're just trying to get that bright, fresh flavor in there. Now another thing that is usually used in the summer roll is rice noodles. Now these are the thin rice noodles. A lot of people call them vermicelli. Uh, what you need to do is you just need to pour some boiling water over it and basically when it's cool enough that you can touch the water then your noodles are done. You don't actually have to cook these on the stove top. Okay, so these have already been soaked and you can see I can touch the water so we are good to go. Now because we're not going to cook these any further, we're going to use rice paper rolls. Okay, so these are different than your wheat rolls, right? The nice thing about these is for those who can't eat something called gluten, right? These are gluten-free. So this is a gluten-free way that people who can't eat gluten can enjoy a roll. Okay, now I have a bowl of very warm water, okay? again cool enough that I can touch it, but it needs to be warm enough that it'll penetrate the rice paper. Okay, and all you do is you're just going to give it one, two, three quick dips, and then we're going to let it sit for a second while we fill it, because as it sits it will become, you can see it's already starting to become much more flexible. Okay, so I'm going to put my ingredients in there. I personally like to put a little bit of lettuce down first, Okay, and these are really small papers. A lot of them are bigger, but these came in kind of small. Okay, then I'm going to put some noodles on top of my lettuce, and I'm going to put a couple of my other fillings just here on top. Now, if you notice, I'm only, I'm not in the center. I'm just down here a little bit, just where I can pick up and wrap over. Now, the biggest mistake that people make here is that they get too hungry and they put too much stuff in. As you can see, just a tiny bit of everything is already getting me very, very, very full. And if I get it too full, I won't be able to wrap it. So I just want to put just a touch of everything in there. Okay? Now we're going to pick it up and roll it all the way over. Okay, and just kind of use your fingers to tuck in any of those vegetables that want to make an escape. Okay, so now I've got this side tucked in. Okay, so it's tucked over. Now I'm going to take this side and pull it over to seal in that edge. And if anything tries to escape, just push him back in. Okay, and then I'm going to take this side and peel it over. And you can see as it sat there, this got very sticky but very easy to work with as far as flexibility, right? So now I've got both my sides pulled over and then I'm just going to finish rolling like this. Okay, now I have this beautiful summer roll that I can serve just like this or if I'm feeling a little fancy or want to make it appetizer size or one to two bite size, all you have to do is give it a cut and if you cut it on the bias or at a diagonal, right, it looks prettier and you can see this is why it's important that you get a nice tight wrap so that everything doesn't fall out of it. And then you can serve it with a dipping sauce, right? Uh, either a bottled dipping sauce, that Thai sweet chili or Maploy works very well, or you can make your own favorite dipping sauce. Okay, now I'm going to show you this rolling technique from one more angle just so that you really understand it. Okay, 
Okay, so you can see I have my paper wet. I have all my ingredients in place. Okay, so we're going to pick it up and notice I'm using my fingers here to tuck that in, right? And I want to roll nice and tight once over. Then we're going to pick up that end and tuck them in. Okay, push all the guys in. Say, excuse me, you need to stay in there. Okay, and we're going to pick this guy up, fold it over, make sure that end is all tucked in. And notice how I'm rolling it nice and tight. That way, if I do cut it, just like this, it stays all nicely together inside the roll. I hope you've enjoyed learning how to roll a summer roll. Now you know what to make when you just don't feel like turning on the stove or the oven and you have a bunch of produce and herbs available to you. I hope you enjoy.